I previously edited this image using the quick fix option in the develop palette. That allowed me to increase the clarity and overall quality of the image. Now in this section I'm going to teach you how to use a color control point to isolate specific sections of the image to draw the viewer's eyes to those locations. To start, we're going to go up and grab a color control point from the tools options, which is the very top of the screen. In the middle, you'll find the color control point option. Once we click on it, it highlights yellow, showing that it's active. We then go to the image and place the color control point on the part of the image that we want to adjust. In this case, it's a Jefferson Monument. Now we can see what is being sampled by looking over at the right and seeing the color picker which shows us the sampling color of this color control point. Now the size of the color control point is affected by the very top slider next to the point itself. To adjust the slider, click on it. Dragging it to the right is going to increase the size. Dragging it to the left is going to decrease its size. The size will directly affect the area that's going to be affected. To see the exact area that's being affected, all you must do is right click on the selection or alt click if you're using a Mac. Click on show selection and now we can see the exact area that's being adjusted. The white is being completely affected by the color control point. The shades of gray are being feathered out and then the black is not being affected at all. Now we can narrow down our color control point by using the top slider and we can see exactly what's going to be affected. In this case, all I want to affect is the Jefferson Monument. Since the color control point does have a circular feathering pattern, if you don't want that to be in a circular pattern, all you have to do is grab another color control point and just stick it on a part of the image that you want to protect. In this case, we've just protected the blue sky. Then we can grab another color control point, stick it on the water, and now we've isolated that it's just the Jefferson Monument itself to be affected. I can drag it up to make sure that I've got it in the right areas and then spread it out now that I'm using protections just to give me this nice little feathering going on. Now to reveal back to where we were, right click on the color control point again and say show selection. Now we can start working with the overall control point itself. To do that I'm going to bring up the brightness and I'm going to decrease the saturation to bring out the white granite. Add a, just a touch of contrast to put in a little bit more clarity. And now I can see the before and after by clicking up in the color control point option. Uncheck it. We'll remove what we have just done. And checking it will increase to what we were doing before. Now if I want to have the color control point over here on the Washington Monument, and I need them to be the same adjustments, all I have to do is click on the middle color control point, right click, duplicate that control point, drag it over to the Washington Monument, and now the same exact adjustment that's on the Jefferson Monument is on the Washington Monument, maintaining that consistency. Next I want to work on the sky. To do that, all I have to do is click on the color control point in the blue sky, drag it up into the middle of the area, reduce the brightness to bring out the blues of the sky, increase the saturation to in bring up the intensity of the blue, and then I can spread it across just a little bit. Now I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the color control point in the sky that I did with the Jefferson Monument. Right click on it, duplicate it, bring it over, to the left side of the sky, giving us the capability now to have the same intensities of blue. Now I need to work with the clouds just a touch. Grab another color control point, stick it on the clouds which protects it from the blue color control points now. What I want to do with this one is I want to desaturate it to bring out the whites and add just a touch of contrast into it. Now I can stretch it across so it captures all of the white clouds. Right click on this one duplicate it, bring it down to the water reflection of the clouds just to make them pop a little bit more in the reflection. Now if I want to see everything with the before I just uncheck the color control point and then recheck the color control point for the after. If I want to see them side by side 
select view, compare images, compare with original, and now it's going to show me the before and after side by side. Using color control points gives you the capability of being able to edit specific parts of your images fast and easily. Once you have an idea of what you want your image to look like, it just takes a matter of seconds to apply these color control points, adjust them, and get your final product. Thank you for attending this tutorial. My name is Terrence Campbell. Have a wonderful day.